Hey guys, welcome back. We've got another awesome episode for y'all this week. Homecoming is going to look a little bit different this year being we are not having a dance, but we will have dress up days and our annual champion challenges for our on campus students on Friday, October 30th. On this week's episode, we've got Wildcat Nation, The Doghouse with Cody, Rumor Has It, and now to Trip with Sports. Hi, I'm Trip, and I'll be the host for this week's Wildcat Sports Center. Leading us off this week is cross country. The team had a meet Tuesday where the girls play third overall. Let's go to Alex to find out more. I'm here with sophomore Delaney Webb who runs Crunch Country and I have a couple of questions for her. What's the team's ranked in the region? Um, the girls team is right now ranked, I think number one. Um, the boys team, I really don't have an idea, but yeah. What is y'all's uh, practice like? Our practices, we just, we do a lot of different things. We do speed work on the track. We try to get our miles in. We do hills. It's a bunch of different things that get us prepared for the courses. Okay, what are y'all's goals for the rest of the season? Um, the, our goals for the rest of the season is just to do as good as we can. Like, we are there to just be as good as we can. And normally, whenever we do that, we get a good um, outcome. Do you think your team can improve? Yes, I definitely think we can improve. Uh, not exactly our running skills, but like just becoming a together as one. And Thank you, Delaney. Thanks, Alex. Football has a game tonight at East Jackson, so come out and support the Wildcats. That's all for this week. Stay superior, Wildcat Nation. Georgia took on the Tigers. Georgia quarterback threw for a 240 yards and a touchdown. Georgia won 27 to 6. Go dogs! She ain't got your love anymore. Rumor has it your students are better you at Spanish. That may be true. Why is that? Because I'm not from Mexico. I'm not from Mexico. And I know Spanish. Do you though? I do. Sure about that? Yes, sir. You don't look sure. I'm positive. Rumor has it that you're actually a robot. Whoa. Rumor has it that your calves are bigger than your biceps. That is 100% true. And why is that? I don't know, man. A lot of calf raises? A ton of them. 200 each day. 200? 200. Look at these. They look good. Rumor has it that we're twins. We're not. Why not? No comment? No comment? Thank you very much. All right. Rumor has it that you shave your legs. I, I don't. Oh, yeah? I can see it from here. Just how I was born, I guess. Born with it? You're born? A aerodynamic. When, whenever I kick, I guess. I don't know. his legs. I, I don't shave my legs. That's that's false. I don't, I don't. I don't shave my legs. I believe you. I believe you, buddy. Really? Yes. Did you know 79 years ago today, President Franklin D. Roosevelt approved an atomic project that would later become the Manhattan Project? James.
Williams and I'm in the 12th grade. I'm a senior. I'm taking agricultural mechanics with Mr. Parker and I've been taking it for two years. In this class we learn to weld. So we do stick welding, MIG welding, and TIG welding. And we learn how to do small engines and wiring. Um, my favorite thing about this class is getting to weld and see how my welds compare to other people and how we're on different levels and stuff. Um, COVID has affected the way we do things because we no longer can like keep our helmets in our like lockers and stuff. We have to put them there so they can be disinfected and then we have to put hand sanitizer on after we use the gloves and stuff after we finish welding. Um, this class can help me once I graduate because if I want to go into an agricultural mechanics field, it sets me up to where I already know how to weld, I already know how to wire and stuff. So when I go to college to do that, I'm already kind of ahead. Um, my advice for the upcoming freshmen is to not doubt yourself. Just don't think that you can't do it because if you really don't try, then you're not going to be able to. As Mr. Parker says, that if you don't try, you're going to get a zero. But if you at least try, you'll get a good grade. I would totally recommend taking this class because it's a lot of fun. You get to build up on your confidence because most people don't think they can do it, but everyone really can weld. It's not that hard. The project we just finished was our egg drop project uh, with our Foundations of Engineering class. And in that project, you have to build a 4x4 container, 4 inches by 4 inches cubed. And you have to see if an egg will drop, will survive in your container from uh, 15 feet and then 30 feet. So we had two survive. They weren't quite legal, but uh, it's a fun project. Everybody gets into it. Other things that we do, so in foundations, the next thing we're going to start is robotics. So this would be similar, this is a level two robot, uh, but this would be similar to something that, that we would be doing. So we learn how to program them, build them, they can do what we want. So this one's actually meant to pick up candy. So when we had the uh, Spirit Village, uh, we had some smaller robots, they weren't working out, so we had this one built last year. Uh, we also have built our own, I'm well, not completely finished with it, but we're in the process of building a robot to vacuum the shop. Uh, which that's a cool project. Uh, level two project, we have our lamp right here that uh, was just finished today. It's not completely finished, but it was turned today on our lathe. Well, that's all we have for you guys this week on Wildcat TV. I'm Lindy Hollifield. Make sure to stay tuned for next week's episode.